Welcome back to Trending. In this episode, I'll be covering Twitter Circle, online pet shopping, TikToks in space, and our trending internet topic, ads are coming to Netflix. Twitter has launched Twitter Circles, a new feature that allows you to target your tweets to a specific group of people. You can add up to 150 people into your circle, and a green badge will accompany the tweets sent within your circle. They can't be retweeted or shared, and all the replies are private as well. Twitter says that the early tests of this feature have shown that users with Circle tweet more overall, get more likes, replies, and it reduces the need for a secondary account. Twitter is also testing out an edit button for paid Twitter Blue users, a feature that Twitter users have been hoping for since day one. Australians who own pets are driving online consumer spending up by 50% during the past year. The pet care industry has surged phenomenally, with consumers splurging top dollar on pet food, accessories, and toys. Consumers opted to buy bulky items such as pet food and cat litter online, while still impulse buying pet treats in store. The adoption of online shopping across households is increasing at its fastest rate. Younger households are spending more money on pet care products online than ever before. Some of the big players here are Pet Circle, Pet O, Pet Barn, and The Vet Shed. Australian households love their pets and enjoy pampering their furry loved ones while shopping online. Starburst launched a campaign called Ask the Universe. It seeks to engage with the Gen Z audience and it's inspired by research they found that the Gen Z generation is most interested in space. 63% of them to be exact. So this campaign offers entrants a chance to send their video to space by creating and sending in a TikTok that asks, how do you make Starburst taste so juicy? Their video could be beamed into space via a partnership with SpaceSeek. You can then track where the video is traveling in space in real time via a microsite. This six week challenge includes a partnership with astrophysicist and influencer Kristen Banks who will announce the challenge and share tips on creating beam-worthy content. Other brands like 7-Eleven, Ben & Jerry's, and Miller have already launched physical objects into the atmosphere from past campaigns. Netflix is introducing a cheaper subscription option as early as November that will be supported by ads. Since partnering with Microsoft in July, they now have all the tech requirements needed to add this tier. It's aimed to be priced at $8 a month, and they've been losing subscribers at a rapid pace and needed to introduce something more affordable to compete with Disney+. Plus. Initially suggesting that this tier wouldn't be available till 2023, they've had to act quickly to keep up with Paramount+, Plus, Amazon Prime, and Hulu all having ad-based options available. They have decided to reject political gambling, cryptocurrency, and children products when it comes to the advertisements. It's unclear whether it will be one ad at the beginning and or in the middle of the program. And there you have it for today's trending topics. Comment below your thoughts and go ahead and follow us on your favorite platform. Until next time, thanks for watching.